Hey everyone, we're back with Baba Yaga and Smoke, and we're up against HB, of course, Engineer in the Future, because why would you play anything else? Uh, we're going to mulligan this opening hand, it has very little of what we want. They also took a mulligan, and uh, they have possibly seen us on YouTube. Uh, second hand is slightly better, Timujin could get us going nice and early. Probably Adonis. Um, <laughs> I don't know, unless... Advanced assembly lines, what a, what a card for HP. So I think our opening hand is just, our opening turn is just going to be Timujin and run archives a bunch of times. Can at least get somebody up there. And if we can commit nice over there, it's not too bad. I apologize for the sound effects. Uh, I'm sure how to turn them off. Hopefully they aren't taking over everything. Ignore my terrible choice of music. And yeah, it's like the good old days of Octagon though. I used to enjoy those sound effects. Um, I threw the way I didn't read the notes. And I've been playing on mute all weekend. So possibly they're already recorded and I've missed it. Yeah, okay. Um, so we can continue to go for archives. It's probably worth checking this out as well. In fact, I may a diesel. Nice laundry. Amazing. Um, let's run service ready because we have lots of money. You never know; they might have put a base down. They mm. have Jackson. Maybe thinking we won't check things because we'd be too distracted. Uh, well, gotta get rid of him. Um, now Jackson would have been a better hit early. And we will go for more money, I suppose. We will need it to take down. Now we've cleared two so we can draw into another one. And it won't slow us down at all. So we need to take out Jackson earlier, as early as possible, basically, before they get too many cards in here. Um... This is a nice little note in the top right hand corner that triggers a manual or unimplemented. Or I assume if there's no note, it just works. So they are icing archives now. But thankfully we have everything we need from it. Hopefully the next Timujin can go on a server we want to attack. So we'll draw a couple. Astrolabe is a great draw. And if we're drawing into our breaker suite, which isn't ideal. We would prefer Baba Yaga and a modded first. Don't really want to pay five for this. Yeah, unfortunate timing with that ice. But really good for us. So Timujin instead will go on R&D more than likely. We have a few R&D interfaces to try and lock things down. And that can work well for us. So we need to try and hit other Jesus. We need to take out this. Why is this still here? Jackson has been left far too long. I'm too focused on the setting up the combo. And now things become more difficult. So the purpose of this breaker suite is to pile on breakers here. And Babiaga, so Houdini, uh, Mongoose or Fairy and Inti, and then you make a really efficient breaker, but only if they do kind of pillars of ice. If they do, as we're seeing here, just one-offs, um, just a regular breaker suite will do the job nicely. And we're drawing everything. So we may have to just bite the bullet here. Stick down Babiaga and the sacrificial contracts, which is quite important, because if it gets blown up, we are pretty <laughs> So if you haven't seen this, it gains the paid abilities of all hosted icebreaker programs, which means any strength boosts, uh, things like that. It removes some of the limitations. So Fairy does not get trashed after using the Baba Yaga paid ability. Um, 
Houdini will boost it by four, so it'll become a four strength breaker. You boost it again, it'll become an eight strength breaker, and it retains it for the whole run. So if we can get things going, we're in a good position. Uh, we have three of our breakers. I would prefer to have fairy, but we shall see. And Houdini is a strength breaker in its own right, means we can... Oh, domestic sleepers. Uh, it means we can challenge things. So let's keep drawing. Katie... I don't know. I don't know. Houdini's the one we want to maybe surprise them with. Fairy is also another good surprise. But Inti makes it look like, oh god, you know, it's going to be two, two credits to boost the strength. That isn't a great trade-off. Houdini, however, makes things really, really good. So we'll see. I mean, we can challenge this now. Because we have everything we need. Oh, <laughs> maybe we can't challenge it. So we install, install, run. That seems alright. I would prefer fairy, but mongoose can do the job as well. And we'll see if we're looking at Turing. There, it's not so bad as well, because Houdini still gets to work in its own right. Now we'll see if they want to pay to keep us out. So our breaker suite now boosts by four and breaks up to two sentry routine or two sentry subroutines for one credit. Not bad. And then we just need to draw into our modded RDIs, and we're good to go. Fairchild seems like a good one. So expensive for us to get through. But not impossible. At least we made them pay six credits. Hopefully we'll get a uh, something at the end of this. We do indeed. Turns it well, which is great. We don't run too many run events, and we have quite a lot of setup as well. So, you know, we don't want to spend all day um, just trying to install stuff. So it looks like we're getting a bit of leeway. They are icing up, so we can start. I think draw twice. Fairy could be good. We have our mongoose now though, so I'm less tempted. Modded. Now we go into late turn, or late game setup. Uh, Katie Jones will keep us in this battle because Temujin could be a little more difficult to go for. Um, we kind of have to check everything that goes in. Because you never know. But then again, could be a G mm. could be a Jeeves, and we do want to trash that as well. <sighs> you know what? I'm okay taking a turn. Let's get back and get another three on this, and hopefully we're not punished for it. We have a lot of useless cards in our stack now. We have three SMCs, one more clone chip which hopefully we won't need, um, and some money as well. So, some good, some bad in there. We got our setup going nice and early. Three RDIs as well, so I would like to draw into those. That's when we can really start just battering away at R&D, ignore everything that's happening here, and hopefully it'll be quite efficient to go through. So we can ignore that somewhat. There's our RDI. Now, do we want to keep it as a surprise? I think we're done the here. No netmarker yet, which is unfortunate. 
Um, you know what? I think we might. Okay, this turn. Store three more. And I think next turn is our when we start going for this. Um, we might be able to ignore that as well. There it is. Advanced similar lines. Sure. So going on R&D maybe. Oh, okay. SMC, the one we didn't really need. So we'll take all this. We will pop down and let's take our first jaunt into R&D. If I can hit the prompt. There we go. So, Architect comes up, which means we need to do this. Uh, let's place one. Chatting to a friend of mine earlier who said that I'm quite conservative when it comes to using the credits. I usually go for the draw instead. So, still four strength, and we can still break up to two subroutines. And that costs them eight. It costs us a total of three plus the one stealth. In fact, we could have used more stealth here. And see Fairchild. Yeesh. And Vitruvius. Neo, did we take money off Katie? I cannot remember. I think we did. Yep, we did. Okay. And last click. I think take credit or run. <sighs> this is a non agenda. This is unknown. I don't want this to be Jeeves. So let's uh let's take a look at server five just to see what's there it is. Okay. Should have trash or should have boosted one of these. Whoops. So we still have a little more memory and we have two cloaks as well. So I think our next turn is Diesel. Try and find them. And keep plugging away. New card goes into server two. Possibly an agenda. Possibly worth a look. Money-wise, we've got another Temujin, two Dirty Laundries, and a Sure Gamble to come. So, let's, uh... <laughs> another Cloak. Perfect. Another RDI. Possibly a little expensive for money. So let's do that instead. And... We'll run, and then we'll KD. Uh, yeah, still happy to place money. And we'll use two stealth instead to boost. Then we will break, carry on, and we can pay normally to break. Advanced assembly lines, yes, we will take that out. And blue level. <laughs> Let's click Kitty Jones. So we're in a decent position here. Um, this might be an agenda. We haven't checked HQ at all, which is a bit, bit of a problem. A uh, bit of money as well. So we'll see what kind of thing we're dealing with here. It may be worth running HQ, especially after the blue level. But then again, more ice here. So, uh, another Ghost Runner. It's decent. Um, installing Fairy actually here is pretty good because it makes these runs free all of a sudden. We do the boost with the Houdini. 
on Baba Yaga, and then we break for free. So we need to draw into our memory. And there it is. So let's install this. Um, we don't need the Ghost Runner right now, I think. So I think we just install this. And let's run R and D. We should have enough, I think, to get through everything here. Yeah, it certainly is cute. But we are poorer than I would like. And we could try and draw for money or a modded. Yeah, I think drawing here is good. And we will boost and then break a subroutine for free. Just have to find it. There we go. And break for free. So if you're given the setup time, this is pretty amazing. There are various combinations of breaker suites and things like that, that you can play. Um, yeah, don't want them to have that. And I want them <laughs> get rid of the SMC. So they will find fresh cards again. Yeah. Glacier is in a tough spot. Between cards like this that make things really efficient, um, Rumor Mill alone, and of course you have the upcoming Interdiction as well, which is going to make things really tricky. Um, that's a card I do want to play. do want to play it out of Criminal especially, because it makes it harder to duck siphons. Yeah, biotic labor. Okay, the good old-fashioned way of doing things. Um, I want to be able to install our other RDI, so let's try and draw from Adam. I've turned into Kiv. It's great. <laughs> and I don't really see a way of them stopping us here. They do have a fair child that we know about. Maybe it ended up here. Indeed it did. And now this actually becomes a bit of a problem. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. We have, yeah, we have enough and one credit in our bank. Plus the one we're going to draw here. So I think we do this, do this, and then take these monies to boost then we need to actually clear things out here um, let's take the last ghost runner and then we can break code gate this is fair chance for you right? Grant. thought it was the new big tasty one one, two, and three. So now they've started to tax our uh, stealth credit somewhat. But we can still burn through for free here. And the fun thing about Architect is now they can't trash it, so they're just going to be paying more to install stuff. And we'll see three cards here. If we see any PD, we'll cry, but otherwise we're in a good position. Toll booth. <laughs> Right, that'll cause problems down the road, but and yeah, you can see just how good this deck is against Glacier. Uh, unfortunately, probably not competitive at the moment because who's playing Glacier? Um, but apparently, we're going to get a rematch. So tune in possibly tomorrow to see if it can cope with NBN and the likes. Uh, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed.